please uh, welcome Dane, right? Dane, back to the stage. Hi, I'm going to be reading a selection by Ellen Ginsberg, a poem called America. America, I've given you all and now I'm nothing. America, $2.27, January 17th, 1956. I can't stand my own mind. America, when will we end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your atom bomb. I don't feel good, don't bother me. I won't write my poem until I'm in my right mind. America, when will you be angelic? When will you take off your clothes? When you will look at yourself through the grave? When will you be worthy of your million Trotskyites? America, why are your libraries full of tears? America, when will you send your eggs to India? I'm sick of your insane demands. When can I go to the supermarket and buy what I need with my good looks? America, after all, it is you and I who are our good, not the next world. Your machinery is too much for me. You made me want to be a saint. There must be some other way to settle this argument. Virus is in Tangiers. I don't think he'll come back. It's sinister. Are you being sinister? Or is this some f form of practical joke? I'm trying to come to the point. I refuse to give up my obsession. America, stop pushing. I know what I'm doing. America, the plum blossoms are falling. I haven't read the newspapers for months. Every day, somebody goes on trial for murder. America, I feel sentimental about the Wobblies. America, I used to be a communist when I was a kid. I'm not sorry. I smoke marijuana every chance I get. I sit in my house for days and end and stare at the roses in my closet. When I go to Chinatown, I get drunk and I never get laid. My mind is made up. There's going to be trouble. You should have seen me reading Marx. My psychoanalyst thinks I'm perfectly right. I won't say the Lord's Prayer. I have mystical visions and cosmic vibrations. America, I still haven't told you what you did to Uncle Max after he came over from Russia. I'm addressing you. Are you going to let your emotional life be run by Time Magazine? I'm obsessed by Time Magazine. I read it every week. Its cover stares at me every time I slink past the corner candy store. I read in the basement of the Berkeley Public Library. It's always telling me about responsibility. Businessmen are serious, movie producers are serious, everybody's serious but me. It occurs to me that I am America. I'm talking to myself again. Asia is rising against me. I haven't got a Chinaman's chance. I better consider my national resources. My national resources consist of two joints of marijuana, millions of genitals, and an unpublishable private private literature that goes 1,400 miles per hour and 25,000 mental institutions. 25,000 mental institutions. I say nothing about the prisons, nor the millions of underprivileged who live in my flower pots under the light of 500 suns. I have abolished the whorehouses of France. Tangiers is the next to go. My ambition to be president. My ambition is to be president, despite the fact that I'm Catholic. America, how can I ride a holy litany in your silly mood? I will continue like Henry Ford, my strophes are as in, <laughs> I will continue like Henry Ford, my strophes are as individual as his. They're all different sexes. America, I will sell you strophes 2500 apiece, 500 down on your old strophe. America, free Tom Mooney. America, save the Spanish loyalist. America, Sacco and Vanzetti must not die. I am the Scottsboro Boys. America, when I was seven, my mama took me to a communist cell meeting that they sold us garbage. Garbanzo is a handful per ticket. Tickets cost a nickel and speeches were free. Everybody was angelic. The sentimental were the sentimental all about the workers and it was also sincere. You have no, no idea what a good thing the party was in 1835. Scott Nearing was a grand old man, a real mensch. Mother Bloor made me cry. I once saw Israel amped her plane. Everybody must have been a spy. America, you don't really want to go to war. America, it's them bad Russians. Them Russians, them Russians, and them Chinamen, and them Russians. The Russia wants to eat us alive. The Russia's power mad. She wants us to take our cars from our garages. Her wants to grab our Chicago. Her needs our red readers, we digestes. Her wants our auto plants in Siberia. Him big bureaucracy running out filling station. That no good. Uh, mm -hmm. Makes Indian learn read. Him make big black niggers. <sighs> Or make me all work 16 hours a day. Help. America, this is quite serious. America, this is the impression I get from looking at television set. America, is this correct? 
I better get right down to the job. It's true, I don't want to be join the army. I don't want to turn lathes and precision parts factories. I'm nearsighted and psychopathic anyway. America, I'm putting my queer shoulder to the wheel. Thank you, Dane. That was wonderful. He's going back to the yard zone. They got a cool yard zone over there.